morning students uh today we are going to read this chapter first chapter falcons can fly okay let's start the reading part reading long ago in the fertile land of janakpura there lived a king who was known for his kind heart he was not only kind to fellow human beings but was full of love for birds and animals he had a huge bird sanctuary in his capital and had ordered that no one should kill animals and birds in his kingdom you can see the meaning of sanctuary over there sanctuary sanctuary a place where birds and animals are kept safe and cared for falcon a bird which has long pointed wings and can fly very fast it's a bird's name falcon so let's continue the story visitors from different parts of asia would often visit his kingdom just to meet this kind king one day a visitor brought two young falcons as presents for the king Falcons are found all across the world although the two he brought were from Kabul Falcons are best known for their ability to fly The king wanted the falcons to be looked after in the best possible manner He called the bird trainer trainer and said These birds have come from a place with a different climate. Give them all they need to be comfortable. Make sure they remain well fed and healthy. The bird trainer took great care of the birds. He gave them adequate food and a shady tree to stay in. He asked a vet to visit them regularly to make sure that they were growing into healthy birds. The falcons sat on the branch of a peepal tree all day, ate the food that the trainer gave them, and went to sleep as soon as the sun set. The trainer was happy that his birds were healthy. One day, the king visited the sanctuary. He stopped under the tree on which the falcons were sitting. He asked the trainer, "Is it true that falcons fly the fastest?" The trainer answered eagerly, "Yes, your highness. They can They can fly very fast. Why they can even change direction without losing speed." The king said, "I'd like to see that. Teach them to fly. Let's see how fast they go." They have been with us long enough. I'm sure they won't fly away in the wild. They will come back. The trainer started training them from the next day. A month later, he came to the king and said sadly, "I'm afraid I haven't been able to train the falcons to fly, your highness." The king said, "Don't worry. You have tried your best. I am sending for a great trainer from Kabul." he will be able to train these falcons soon a trainer from kabul came to janakpura he agreed to make the falcons fly in a week's time two days later the trainer came to the king and said the falcons were ready to fly the king was amazed how did you manage this asked the king are you a magician okay here you can see some word meanings are there one in the wild to the forest here we will continue our story the trainer smiled no your highness he said i'm not a magician i'm just an ordinary bird trainer who understands birds the king was very eager to find out the truth he immediately started for the sanctuary to see if the birds had actually started flying the king and the trainer walked to the sanctuary as usual the falcons were sitting on their favorite branch of the peepal tree the trainer asked two 
men to stand near the tree with sharp axes. As soon as the king reached the tree, the men chopped the branch off the tree. Both the birds took flight at a great speed which was never seen before. Took flight, take off and fly. Meaning of took flight, take off and fly. The king was surprised. Why did you cut the branch they were sitting on? He asked the trainer. The trainer said, Your Highness, if all of us were given a comfortable place to stay, as much food as we need, and all our needs taken care of, do you think any of us would move to work and look after ourselves? The falcons didn't fly, as they had all their needs taken care of here. Many of our children can fly if there is a need. They don't, because their parents take care of everything for them. The king laughed and said, You are so right, and gave the trainer 100 gold coins. This is not for making the falcons fly, but for teaching me a valuable lesson, he said. Okay, uh, so the moral of the story is, we, we all are made to fly. To realize our incredible potential as human beings but instead of doing that we sit on our branches clinging to the things that are familiar to us we are living in a very comfortable zone the possibilities are endless but for most of us they remain undiscovered we never think that we can fly right our abilities, our capabilities, we never think on that. So, let us learn to the destroy the branch of fear. We cling to and free ourselves to the glory of flight.